Okay, today I want to talk about Beware the Batman. There has been two episodes so far and so far I really like the show. Especially the last episode with Magpie that sort of reminded me of Memento. I also really like the new voice for Batman. Now the main objective of the show uh, is to bring uh, some of the more irregular Batman villains into the foreground. So there will be no Joker, no Penguin or two faces. So I have some ideas for which villain villains they can use for that sh show. Uh, the villains that has already been in the show is Professor Pig and Mr. Toad and Magpie. And there is a couple of uh, villains that uh, has already already been announced to be in the show. And I will just get uh, those through before I tell you my candidates. Anarchy King Kraken, Ten-Eyed Man, Mad Hatter, Razzle Ghoul, and Talia. Okay, now I can go to the characters that I wish to see in this show. One villain it's been a lot of fuss about is Hush. You all know that I like Hush, and yes, it would uh, be really cool to see him here, but I don't think he will be in this show. Because, I mean, they didn't let Professor Pig lobotomize people. And Hush is a serial killer that takes people's body parts and performs self-surgery. Yeah, I don't think they will let him do that, so... Really, what, uh, what would really be the point to have Hush uh, in the show in the first place? Uh, so yeah, I would like to see him here, but I just don't think it's going to happen. Okay, I want to see the dealer in this. The dealer was a villain first introduced in a story called Black Mirror, and he creeps me the fuck out. He's this old crippled man that collects costumes and weapons from other villains that he then sells in underground uh, auctions. Now, you might think uh, he's no match for Batman, right? But he's a m master strategist that can get... Uh, he can get Batman where he wants him to be and he uses some of the, the old villain gadgets against Batman like the Man-Bat Serum or uh, the Scarecrow's Fear Toxin. Uh, you can write uh, in this guy in the show in two ways. One alternative is to have him... Uh, uh, appear later into the show using weapons already used by uh, Magpie and Mr. Toad for example or you can have him in one of the earlier episodes using gadgets used by the Joker or Penguin so we get that these villains did exist in this universe but they are dead or they have been immobilized or uh, something but now when I think about it uh, I would like the first alternative uh, a bit better. Next is Dr. Aesop. Yeah, I like reading Aesop's fables uh, a lot. So when this guy came along, I immediately started to like this guy. He is a mob boss that quotes uh, Aesop's fables before he kills people. Like say, if uh, somebody lies to him and he knows that, he l that uh, they lie to him, uh, he would... Uh, tell the story of the boy who cried wolf and then he would set a pair of uh, wolves after the guy to kill him and you know you can make uh, this guy just as he is in the comics cause I feel he's not as violent as most of the new Batman villains are now I want to talk about some uh, members of the League of Shadows that I want to see in the show I mean the only members of uh, the League of Shadows or the League of Assassins or whatever they're calling themselves uh, the only members we have seen uh, on screen so far is Rachel Ghoul, Talia, Ubu, and uh, Hook. But there is so many others like Nisaratko. She was the second daughter of Rachel Ghoul, uh, and she used her detective skills to find uh, her father. Also, this chick is evil. While Talia at least have uh, some morals. Nisa just wants to take over very League of Shadows and conquer the world. If they have her in here 
uh, we can get a Batman and Ra's al Ghul team up, which would be cool. Another character I would love to see in the show is the Assassin Shell Case. I mean, just look at him. That has to be the coolest costume ever. Trash coat and skull mask. That alone should give him a spot on the show. Another character that would be great to see here um, is uh, Prometheus. Now, I don't know much about Prometheus, but so many uh, Batman fans seem to love him. So, you know, I, I want, uh, I want at least one uh, good Prometheus story really, to see. You know, what's what's the deal with this guy? I mean, I know that he was raised by criminals and that he hates justice and so forth, but more than that, I don't really know about him, so yeah, that would be cool. Next is, of course, the black glove. And I say of course, because even if King Kraken can easily hold his own against Batman, I think if he teams up with the rest of the, uh, of the black uh, glove uh, society, Batman will be forced to his upper limits. Uh, especially with the uh, Dr. Hurt that claims to be Batman's father, so he can get to Batman both physically and mentally. Next is a character from the Batman, and that's Dave. Yeah, I'm probably the only guy that absolutely loves the, the Batman. Uh, the 2004 show and Dave or the digitally advanced villain emulator was a villain that was uh, he was only in one episode but I loved seeing this guy in action because he was Batman's uh, better plus he had a cool design now the reason I want uh, a robot villain here is because I think metal always looks a lot better in CDI than in uh, uh, 2D animation. So, I mean, why not take advantage of that? Uh, I mean, have you have you seen the visuals in the latest Transformer show? The steel on those robots looks absolutely amazing. Now, the last villain I candidate is not really a Batman villain. He is more of a Justice League villain. But I think he could work as a villain on Beware the Batman and that's Psycho Pirate his real name is Roger Hayden and he has this magical mask called the Medusa mask that allows him to fly and control people's emotions and sometimes their minds now I can uh, imagine uh, a little bit of rewriting for this character uh, so he can fit in better uh, to this universe. Uh, his Medusa mask can be like a scientific device that he uses against Batman and his allies. He, he can uh, like make Katana turn against Batman or make Katana leave the team or uh, turn uh, Bruce against Alfred. I mean, he could really do some serious damage uh, on uh, Batman's relationships and his psyche. Yeah, but that's pretty much uh, all the villains I have uh, that I really want to see for the show. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, as usual, I would like to know what you guys think. Do you think these uh, uh, these guys would be cool to see? Do you have your own? Uh, Ideas for villains you would like to see in Beware the Batman?